three years ago. Very good, Kalyana. I paid £40. I paid £40 for the handbag. It's perfect. There's nothing wrong with it. £40 for the handbag and the ears. I absolutely love it. It's my only Disney lounge fly. The only other lounge fly I've got is the Care Bear one. The only other, you know, the Care Bear celebration bag. I was actually surprised to see today only a couple of, care, of lounge flies. I've hardly seen any lounge flies for sale. I was expecting to see lots of lounge flies. I literally only saw maybe two today. I saw two or three of the same one on one stand. And then I saw another one on another stand. And that was pretty much it. Um, and I was expecting to see more of them. The other thing I was surprised not to see today is anything to do with the musical Wicked. Um, absolutely nothing anywhere, which did surprise me. Um, I thought there would be other stuff to do with Wicked, but absolutely nothing. Now, I'm going to take this off for tomorrow. Because apart from anything, my head is getting a bit hot. So you've got a sneak peek of tomorrow. So I'm wearing the wig with those ears, my purple, a different purple jumper tomorrow and um yes so i really need my tangle teaser to untangle all this hair but um it's still a lovely wig really pleased with it oh toss that on the bed thank you for sharing the live everybody thank you very much Whew. um so yeah it's Oh, the other reason I was showing you that. Sorry, I just remembered there was a reason I was showing you my lounge fly. There was actually a reason I was showing you the lounge fly. So who knows about Disney... Is it Disney Munches? Are they called Munches? Anyway, I got one today. Are these called Disney Munches? But look at that. Look how much it matches the bag. Not 100% perfect, but pretty darn close. Fuzzy Art Designs, I will come and say hello to you tomorrow, very definitely. In fact, I'm going to give you a follow back now. And then I will come and check out tomorrow what you've got. I'll come and have a chat with you and we can do a video or something. Just look at that. Look how cute it is. The other bit, though... Find the right spot. It lights up. It's a light up. <laughs> do, 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 do. It's so cute. I'm easily pleased. <laughs> itself off again. So it's not really a light or anything. It's just a bit of fun for kids. I'm a big kid. <laughs> so yes. <sighs> um, well, Lara, I went out for lunch with my nephew. Um, so, yeah, um, had a very nice lunch out. Um, awesome Wallace, yeah, I moved today. Do you want a tour? Awesome Wallace, do you want the tour? So this is my living room. Here you go, that's my mirror on the wall. This is my living room, my little armchair. Um, there's my kitchen over there with a TV and a kettle and my wheelchair parked in the kitchen. Uh, there's my bedroom. There's my bedroom with the wardrobe hanging on the wall there. That's the wardrobe hanging on the wall there. Um, my bathroom is just around the corner around there and so is my front door. So yeah, there's the guided tour. I literally don't even need to get up to give you the guided tour of the bungalow. <laughs> oh dear <coughs> I've done the same joke several times now because people have said that so awesome Wallace I'm in a hotel for the night <laughs> just to clarify <laughs> a very boutique bungalow a very minuscule bungalow <laughs> oh 
I know, just awesome. It's a joke. <laughs> Oh dear. Downsizing to the max, exactly, Callianne. Not a very cheap bungalow either. Hold on. If I was to live here for 10 years, hold on, I'm gonna work out how much living here for 10 years would cost if the price was on tonight. If the price was the same every night, like tonight, um, How much do you think living here would cost me for 10 years? Okay, you don't have any water, electric, gas, things like that. But if I lived here for 10 years, how much do you think it would cost? Oh, Wallace and the, and the rest. And the rest, Lisa. And the rest. And the rest, Kalyan. And the rest. Literally. It's, just, it's a London hotel, remember? Yeah, exactly. Nearly 400k. Nearly 400 if I wanted to live here for 10 years. <laughs> exactly. So I don't think I'll be doing that something very much, thank you. <laughs> I tell you, you could, you could live on a cruise ship for less than I've paid for this room a night. <laughs> Literally. You can get cruises cheaper than this per night. And this is just a bog standard tiny little travel lodge bedroom with a bathroom and that's it. And a pathetic little TV behind me. Yeah, better TVs than that on a cruise ship cabin. I am Rebecca. Yes, there's a Star Trek one that I want to go to. In fact, I can look up what time that is. There's um, a Star Trek. Well, I say Star Trek. I don't know if she's going to be only talking about Star Trek, but it's the Borg Queen. Um, she's doing a talk tomorrow. The actress who played the Borg Queen, Alice. Um, I can't pronounce her surname properly, so I'm not even going to try. Um, but she is doing a talk tomorrow, and I've heard her talk before on a Star Trek theme. So it'll be interesting to hear her again tomorrow. Um, do, do, do. Uh, I'm just trying to see if I can find the um, timetable of the... Uh, talks, that's the word I was trying to find. Timetable of talks. Um, dum, 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 dum. Show guide, here we go. Show guide, panels. Um... Attending panels. Uh, I'm sure it was main stage. Um, Saturday, there. Hmm, this is not working very well. Actually, uh, Kalyan, I'm disappointed at how little uh, Star Trek merch there is. 
early this morning, Lainey, and I've literally only brought one bag and my sleep machine. My sleep machine is the biggest bag I brought with me. It's not gonna be the biggest bag I take home, but it's the biggest bag I brought with me. <laughs> so yeah, um, I brought a bag, but it wasn't anywhere near as full. But my sleep machine, um, with all its cable and everything, takes up more room than anything else I brought with me. Because I'm literally away for one night. I really haven't brought very much with me at all. Toothbrush, clean underwear, a couple of t-shirts, a clean jumper for tomorrow, and that's about it. Uh, yeah, Kalyan. Um, <laughs> it was pleasant enough. Um... A hiccup with a bus first thing this morning I was gonna get the bus into town and get the earlier train which went from the town center station um, but the bus driver driver drove straight past me um, there was a push I could see on the bus there was a push chair in the disabled seat space and he just waved at me and said no and just carried on driving because there was a push chair in the disabled space. And that is every single disabled person's bugbear is wheelchair, um, is push chairs in wheelchair spaces. And on every single bus you see, it says this space is priority for wheelchairs. Um, yeah. Um, so, yes. Does your wheelchair have basket to keep your bags? No, Elsie, uh, it, do LC, it doesn't. I just hang everything off the back. So, there's my wheelchair there. I literally just hang everything off the back on that one. So, yeah. When, if I get my, my old mobility scooter up and running again, um, that does have a space for baskets on the front. Exactly, Lisa. I just suspect, I suspect he couldn't be bothered to stop and put the ramp down. That's what I suspect. I have zero proof and I'm not going to worry about chasing it or anything like that. It just bugs me. And I know it bugs every single disabled person who tries to get on a bus. So... Um, I will tell you guys one thing, um, one very good bit of news today. You know how I say nothing happens for a reason? Nothing happens, sorry, something happens, hold on, no, get it right. When something happens, it's always a reason for it. So, um, coming out of Comic Con this evening, um, there was three of us waiting for the lift. Everything happens for the reason. That's the one, Kelly Ann. Thank you. Um, I was getting... I'm, I'm tired. I'm just getting in my words twisted. So um, there were three of us with wheelchairs struggling with the lift. Um, the XL Centre is right on top of a tube station. Well, it's not a tube station. It's a, Dockland, a DLR station. And there are lifts to go down to the road level. And these lifts were disabled access in the 90s, in the late 90s, when the DLR was built. Um... DLR means Docklands Light Railway. So it's not an underground, it's not a tube system. It's an overground, sort of like a monorail type system. And it's called the DLR, Docklands Light Railway. Um, and these lifts are tiny to the point you can almost hardly get your wheelchair in. And there were three of us struggling with the lifts. Um, anyway... Um, the gentleman with one of the others helped the other, me and one other lady. Um, and then we stood around chatting for a few minutes and they went off and me and this other lady started chatting. Now she, she um, is really into cosplay. Her costume this evening, her makeup 
looked amazing. I have no idea what character it was. Um, there's so many people cosplaying anime and that type of thing. And I have no idea what any of it is. Anyway, um, I was chatting with her and she was telling me about the costume she's playing tomorrow. I'm going to show a video. We're going to catch up with her at some point and do a video. Looks absolutely brilliant. She's shown me a photo already. And... Um, Anyway, we were chatting with her and we were talking about what we each do. She does a lot of cosplay and she has a anime cosplay and gaming social media. She doesn't do TikTok, but she does all the other social medias. And she also has a very big Discord. Um, and she, basically, she's going to help me set up my Discord properly. So my Discord, within a couple of weeks, is going to have all the bells and whistles on it to keep it 100% safe. She knows what she's doing. I've told her a couple of the things I want to do, and she's like, yeah, that'll take me five minutes. So it's going to be so nice to do that. Um, and we were chatting for ages. Um, and we were stood outside her hotel because her hotel is a couple of doors down from where I'm staying. And um, we were outside her hotel and her husband, her husband phoned her and said, where are you? Because we were chatting for so long. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, anyway, so that's really good. It's been a... Um, it's been a lovely day today. It really has. I am very tired. I'm going to sleep well when I go to bed. And I've got to be up for... Yeah, I've got to be up at 7.30 in the morning. I don't know how I'm going to manage it. Basically, um... I want to have breakfast here before going because then breakfast here at the buffet will keep me going for the whole day. Then I don't have to buy any expensive food at the XL. Um, the guys who I'm meeting up with um, who have got the spare ticket for me, uh, we're, they're here at the same hotel as me. Um, so... <laughs> They're getting up at 5 a.m. to put their costume on. Oh, one of them is. One of them is cosplaying a really simple costume, so that's going to be easy. But one of them is getting up at 5 a.m. to start putting his costume on. I can't wait to see this costume tomorrow. It sounds blooming awesome. It really does. It sounds awesome. Thank you so much, Triple Heart, for the confetti. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, yeah, I can't believe the descriptions of some of the cos costumes that I've been told I'm going to see tomorrow. And um, some of the costumes I saw today were, wow, awesome. I've got so much video to upload and I'm going to do more tomorrow. The problem is the signal at the O2 is so bad with that many people there. You can't even bother trying to do a live. You just can't. You just can't bother. There's no point even trying. Um, I was struggling to get a phone signal, let alone anything enough to do a live. So I won't be doing any lives, unfortunately. But the detail of work on a lot of costumes was amazing, absolutely amazing. And yes, Kalyan, so um, Mitch's partner has said that he's been wanting to do this cosplay for years and it's taken him a long time to put it together. Um, it's a Dungeons and, Dungeons and Dragons cosplay. Now, I know a tiny bit about Dungeons and Dragons, and I do only mean a tiny bit. 
Um, it's not something I want to get into. The dragon's bit sounds fun, but that's about it. Um, I remember the Dungeons and Dragons cartoon way back in the 80s. I remember that. But that's about as far as my interest in Dungeons and Dragons goes, is that cartoon, which I don't really remember. I just remember watching it. Um, but I will acknowledge that some of the costumes that people have made, some of the costumes that people are walking around in are spectacular. Really, really spectacular. So, yeah, very, very, very cool. So, yes, um... Just going to see if there's anything on my phone I can show you. See if there's anything I can show you tonight or if I'll just leave it all till tomorrow and the next couple of days. Um, I think I'll just wait and show you all in the next couple of days. So there's going to be a lot more content for me to uplo upload in the next few days. Undercover Gifter, thank you so very much for the ghost. Thank you very much. Um, this is all going to help pay for my hotel room tonight, so thank you very much. <laughs> um, Lisa, have a wonderful night. Sleep well. It will be fun going through it all, Kalyan, yes. Um, I'm really glad that I got away from all those blooming boxes. Um, I was talking to my PA yesterday and I was saying more than anything what's dragging me down at the moment is constantly staring at the boxes and not knowing what's happening so I've not heard from anybody now for three days I've not heard anything since Tuesday and it's like another week has gone and there's still no closer to exchanging so I'm not going to be moving next week so yeah um I needed to get away from all the boxes I needed a change of scenery um I think you can probably tell I'm tired I am tired um, but at the same time, I've had a brilliant afternoon and I can't wait to do it again tomorrow. Getting home tomorrow night is going to be exhausting. I know that. Um, I've brought a return train ticket. <laughs> yeah. Um, I've got a disabled person rail card and I renewed that this morning before I brought my train ticket. And then rather... If I brought a one-day ticket, single, into London without my rail card, it was £23. An open return with my rail card is £22. <laughs> you can't write it, can you? So a, a same-day return was 23 Thank you so much for the morgie. Thank you, Undercover Gifter. Thank you. Holly, thank you for the team bracelets as well. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, it's... Um, 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 amusing, shall we say. So... How long's the journey home? Uh, Lucy, so to get back to Marylebone Station will take me... Depending on how busy it is, um, it could take me up to an hour to get back to Marylebone. And then to get from there back to Aylesbury will take... About an hour and a quarter, plus whatever time I have to wait at the station. So, yeah. And I'm probably get a taxi home from Aylesbury Town Centre because trying to get home from 
the parkway tomorrow night in the dark. I don't want to do that. I didn't mind doing it this morning in the daylight. That was fine. But because you have to go through um, quite deserted um, footpaths, and I will be very tired by tomorrow night. I mean, I mean, I'm exhausted now. I will be even more tired tomorrow night. And I don't want to be non-aware of my surroundings. Yes, exactly, Kalyan, safety first. Exactly. So that's what I'll be thinking about tomorrow. So, um... Um, subscribers, have any of you got any questions or anything? Um, I'm trying to decide whether I open it to general questions, knowing I am tired. I'm trying to decide whether I open it to general questions or not. I don't think I've got the energy to open it to general questions, guys, I'm afraid. I was thinking about it, but I, I honestly don't think I've got the energy. Um, cause I know what's going to happen as soon as I open it, the trolls will start coming in and I don't think I've got the energy for that. Thank you, Tiff, for the heart me. Thank you. Thank you, Lorraine. Yeah, you too. Good night. Yeah, Lucy, finish on a high. Yeah, that sounds good, doesn't it? Hee <laughs> hee. Um, I'm just trying to think of anything else I can tell you. Um, there was a huge Lego stand. And there was somebody walking around in a Lego figure costume. There was a big... Um, Disney have launched a new card game. So, like the Pokemon cards and all the other card games, Disney have now launched a new one. Uh, Tracy and Kelly, thank you for the heart -mees. Um, Thank you, Rebecca. I'm only going to the one talk. Assuming I can get a spot. Um, unless that is, unless there's any other Star Trek ones. I'm only aware of one Star Trek one. Um... I'm not getting any autographs. I'm not doing any photos with celebs or anything like that. Not doing anything like that whatsoever. Um, there's nobody that I've either not met before or interests me enough. Because so much of, them, of the Comic Con, so much of it is Comic Con, as in anime, that type of thing. There's not... Um... If it, the atmosphere is fantastic. The watching all the people in cosplay, looking around all the stalls, you know, that's reason to come enough on its own. Um, there's a lot he, a lot of the con that isn't my thing, but it's still interesting to look at. So, yeah. Uh, if your teen, teenager loves anime, Holly, then come to Comic Con, definitely. Definitely go to Comic Con next year. Um, if you can, that is. Um, I certainly don't regret coming up, not at all. And I am enjoying it. Um, it's maybe a shame there's not a bit more to do with um, Outlander, Star Trek and a few other things. But they can't please everybody all the time. So... They can't have the same thing here all the time. Um, and they know how much anime as a whole is a draw for people. And the cosplay community is very strong on that type of thing. <laughs> I've just remembered what I saw one guy walking around in today. Um... That's fireworks going off outside. Um, 
If I say three words, you'll get the picture. Six foot tall bloke in heels, black high heels, in what I can only describe as Playboy Bunny. And I'll leave the rest to your imagination. Um, that's probably the weirdest costume I saw all day. Yeah. It's like, um, yeah. It just goes to show anything goes. <laughs> One of the best costumes I saw today, and I've got it on video, I asked if I could film her, and she was more than happy to. Um, a homemade costume of the Mad Hatter crossed with the Joker from Batman. It was weird, but very good. Weird, but very good. So yes, that was um, quite interesting. Quite, 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 quite. Um, um, quite an in 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 <sighs> intricate costume. Can't remember which one, Kalyan. There was quite a few Pokemon costumes I saw today. Oh, are you talking about the one? I was following a couple of girls and they looked like Pokemon. Is that the one you were talking about? Yes. It was um, the seahorse. I can't remember what it's called, but yeah, the blue seahorse. Right, guys, I am knackered. I think you can tell. I'm going to go to bed. I need to get some sleep. Um, it's nearly half 11. Um, if, I, if I can get seven hours sleep, I'll be thrilled. So if I go to bed in the next half hour, I stand half a chance of getting seven hours sleep. Maybe, maybe seven and a half hours sleep if I go to bed by midnight. So I want to say thank you, everybody, for being here. It's been a lovely chat, catch up with you all. Um, I will do more videos tomorrow, but you won't see much of me live. If I can upload any short videos or if I can upload any updates during the day, I will, if I can. Um, but otherwise, I'll... Um, I'll either do a live while I'm on the way home on the train or something or I'll do a video when I get home um, I suspect by the time I get home I'll be so tired I won't want to do anything uh, but we'll see okay thank you everybody for being here have a wonderful night everybody and I will see you tomorrow hopefully at some point so see you later, everybody, and thank you for watching. Good night, everybody. Sleep well. I know I'm going to. Bye.